hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is benita and i love talking about all things books and i also show you a glimpse into my life as a bookish girl navigating my life in london so if you like content and videos like that please do subscribe and i'll be happy for you to join me here guys i can't believe i'm just introducing the vlog right now it's 6 30. the last time i picked up my camera with you guys was 8 30 this morning when i started working and since then it's been back to back meetings and working and things like that even though my company has summer hours which basically means every friday in the summer months we finish at three i did not finish till like 30 minutes ago because today was such a crazy day anyway i'm now done with work guys it's the weekend even though i have zero plans but you guys are coming along with me and I'm gonna have a nice chilled weekend and this morning as you guys saw I finished reading Wild Like the Wind by Christian Ashley guys I have been in a bit of a book hangover with Christian Ashley this week because last week I finished reading The Woman by the Lake by her which was sensational guys I'm so tempted to reread it I literally finished it and I wanted to pick it back up and read it I have to stop myself from reading it again so because every time i read everything because i think because my favorite author that happens to me sometimes when i read a book by my favorite author I, that also happens to me when i read read certain authors like when i read a new book from them i just feel like i have this such bad anger i have to like read reread some of their books just to kind of give me that feels back so i've been going that this week that happens every single time so after reading woman by the lake i read book and still then i read wait was it wild like the wind anyway so i read i read quite a few of mc romance so i finished it this morning and then i was just like oh like i didn't know what book to read next so in that little like christian ashley angover like kind of vibe so i probably will pick up one more of a book but then i probably won't finish it and i'll just pick up another book so i need to kind of think of my next book because I, even though this weekend is a nice chilled weekend vlog, I'm going to do a little bit of reading with you guys so we can kind of read a book together. I don't know what book we're going to read yet, but we're going to read a book. I did just start Walk Through Fire, which is the book, the fourth book in the Chaos series by Christian Ashley. I started out to this, like, I literally just started out, like, I finished working. And I, I said that book. I'm literally like maybe two or three chapters in. Because I'm sitting in that weird, funky Christian Ashley. I don't know how I can't shake it. Like, I don't know. Like, oh God, guys. This is this account is a Christian Ashley stan account. Let's just say it. I've said it. I've said it. I, as I said, I'm reading this book. But also, I really want to watch a movie. Because I watched Inside Out 2, guys, on Wednesday. And it was sensational. I actually cried. If you guys haven't seen it. And if you've seen the cinema. Go watch it. It's sensational. Like the first one was great. And then, we went, and then that was like 10 years ago or something. And then now we have the new one. Which was oh so good. So like emotion. Emotion like you know. Even as animation. I mean I love animation. I'm just going to. I'm going to put a little disclaimer there. I love yeah, I watch, I've not watched Inside, Inside Out 1 in such a long time. So I think I might just watch that tonight as well. I don't know. And also, what I saw, The Back Riders, that movie with Austin Butler and Tom Arden. Also, if you haven't seen that, get your sister's in my run and watch it. So basically, I had my Christian Ashley ang like, book hangover, like I told you guys I did. Then, I watched, I went and watched fucking watched Back Riders and I just like, oh my god, that was so, it's like, basically, it's an MC movie, like, it's quite gritty. And it just follows, like, it's based on, I think it's based on a true life story, apparently. The Outlaw. I was having, like, that book, Angover-ish, that book feeling, and Christian Ash. Like, oh, let me do. So I just started reading all of the MC romance. So I read, as I said, Smoking Still, which I finished. And then I finished Wild Like the Wind, which also, which is, like, book six or something from the Chaos series. And then I'm reading this. So that's what kind of, that's why I'm reading MC romances, because I just, I watched that movie. I just remembered now. So I'll let you guys know. And then today, two books came in the post for me today, which I'm really excited to read. Crazy Rich Asian and Ch Chinese Rich Girlfriend. These two books, I'm sure you guys have seen the movie or you've heard of. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the movie, heard of the movie of Crazy, Crazy Rich Asian. This is the best on these books. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the movie, but I can just imagine the books would be better because with more detail. So this came in the post today, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should read this. It's giving like private jet vibes. I'm not sure. I don't know. Came to this. I might. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm feeling right now.
<laughs> it's Saturday today. I'm not planning today. I'm just gonna read. It's, this is gonna end up being like a reading vlog <laughs> weekend, which I'm so happy about. So I am still reading Fire Walk Through Fire by Christian Ashley because I'm still not over my Christian Ashley hangover. So I'm still reading this book, which I thought I'll be over it now. I think this when I woke up, I was like, what do I feel like reading? I was like, okay, I'm just going to read it. But I am making it where I'm literally on 43%. I don't know if so I'll probably finish it today. What time is it now? Oh my God, it's two o'clock. Damn. Um, I'm probably going to finish that today. guys <laughs> it's sunday today and i literally didn't check up with you guys yesterday because i just spent the entire time reading so it's sunday morning like i said i've literally been so productive this morning already well i'm not that productive i've just like woken up now i've um put away my laundry as you can see i've got like two loads of laundry just going in the back <laughs> as well and i'm just about to make my coffee and then i am going to just chill today i have no plans i'm i need to like the main thing i'm doing today is washing my hair really um but i'm still reading and i finished walk through fire by christian ashley which is the fourth book in the chaos series i finished that early this morning um so i am picking up a new book but i wanted to give you guys my review of that book again i said it's a reread for me i read it like a couple of years ago and because of the movie the bad cry that i watched last week i am like into like it just got me in the mc movie so i decided like reading this anyway so this book follows millie and logan or i so his name is logan but his nickname hi or low whichever you want to call it um so basically it's a second chance romance this book is about um all the couples both couples are in their 40s yeah when millie was 18 and i was 21 they met at the party they dated for three years and it was for each other like you know instant love romance match thing when they were young they moved in together had a um, um, like amazing relationship and then Millie broke up with him for apparently for no reason so now 20 years later but like she kind of woke up she was like in this weird like 20 years limbo of like heart being him him overhearing him on the phone saying like, she's like, okay this is time i'm actually gonna tell him why i broke up with him and then she like obviously tried to speak to him a couple of times but he's still hang angry from that because obviously this is the love of his life and she kind of broke his heart kind of thing um logan is part of the chaos mc um which is the bike bike club and it's a successful bike club in denver and this series guys you guys need to read this entire series like if you love like mc romance i kind of think i think you should read this like entire series you know even though i i know i pedal christian ashley on you guys every single week or every single time i speak on my video but this book is definitely worth reading logan is really like upset like you can't get over what she did and she can't obviously every time she starts to speak to him like she just realized realize how much she loves him and things like that and then you know they had a few back and forth like really like heated things she was really hurt and then finally finds out why she broke up with him in the first place and it was just like wow like i wish you told me blah blah, blah. i'm not gonna tell you the reason why the reason is it's quite big i think the reason is quite big but i just feel like 20 years to not say it is a bit much and like 20 is the long time to like live with that love of blood at this time she was basically a nun she didn't date anybody she was like she was just living this like quiet double life because she was so heartbroken like her family was trying to check her out but she wasn't checking out of it like seeing him kind of just woke her up so i think there's something beautiful about that in a sad way anyway i gave i read when i read this book the first time i gave it a five star and it's still a five star read because the story is well written again is so sweet to millie because we get a little flashback between like what they were when they were younger and them now and obviously um logan with his two daughters is so crazy single was well, not a single dad co-parents his ex and in this book there's no ex drama his ex-wife is very mature like people can co-parent without someone being like a psycho and they were kind of had this good relationship with each other one of his daughters is a bit of a brat and it, you kind of see like a little bit of that so i think it's where it's quite a good story um it is 
so I definitely would recommend it and I thoroughly enjoyed it again. So I think now I'm oh, I'm kind of over my Christian Ashley angle. I'm ready to read a new book. I, I did start This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I've wanted to read this book since I read um, Before You Let Go, which was such a good book. Well, I just picked it up this morning. I think I just read like, I just reached, finished reading the author's note and then the epilogue, which is in Judah's perspective. This book follows Soledad. I think that's how you pronounce it, Soledad. She is best friends with Yasmin from book one so it's kind of like you can see some of the old um, characters and stuff so yeah so I just started that today I don't think it's that much like I think it's about 300 almost 400 pages so um I probably will make a massive dent in that today and also I need to watch House of Dragons because the new season came out last week and I've literally not watched it so that needs to be watched and I was gonna have like a little like House of Dragon marathon like watch the first season so it's gonna be like a House of Dragon slash reading this could be us um today but yeah I wanted to say hi to you guys I've not spoken to you a lot today. I am reading this could be us and I'm flying through this. I'm on like 20 I'm 26 percent to the book and guys I might even like this more than I like before I let go. To be fair I was told that it is better than you guys know really I love drama and Soledad like I love her. Sorry I just have to turn down House of Dragons because I'm I'm watching that as well. Anyway Soledad is my kind of bitch. I kind of, I just love her already. And I'm just like a few chapters in I love her already. Basically, she's a strong woman. Like I love her. And she didn't take any shit from anyone. My husband is a dickhead. I knew from, from the get good I was cheating on her. Like, bleh. So basically, let me give you, let me just rewind back a bit. This could be us follow, as I said, it follows Sela Dad. And I think I told you guys earlier, I think that she and her husband are rekindled because I think it might be second chance romance. I was completely wrong. Basically, her husband is an arsehole and I can't wait for her to divorce him. So then has been married to her husband, Edward, that's his name, Edward, ew. Married to Edward for like 20 years. They have three girls together. She said, oh mom, she's super keen to support him to get an MBA and now is like the main breadwinner. She's like the homemaker and stuff but he has absolutely no respect for her like he is a fucking dickhead like i don't know how she's lasted this long and she has no apparently she said she said she said to notice the sign of him being a dickhead like two years before but it seems like her friends have known from day one that this guy's a prick anyway so as i was saying obviously they haven't had sex for like two years she's convinced that it's cheating on her with his assistant because always with her all the time like he is such a gaslighter as well like start off of the book they were getting ready to go to his christmas party and he kind of tried to tell her what's where she like, tried to re like project his issues onto her saying like it's basically cheating on her but it's making her feel like she's she's crazy and she's dreaming about she's like making this up in her head when he is like saying things that oh you've let your body go it's not about your body she's like i'm not my body good like i walk out and i look good no but i'm thinking about down there after she pushed out three kids for you, have the girls to complain that she, her vagina is not tight enough for you. Oh my god, I am screaming. This man, oh, I am fuming. Oh, anyway, but the thing is that even though it says things to her, like all I inside of she's a strong person, like she didn't let it bring it up. She's still pretty strong to be like, no, it's not that she, I'm fine, he's just, a, he's just an ass. Like, can that coach her what to say? Like, she's just very controlling. And it's low key a, a bit aggressive as well. Like it's literally, I swear, I feel like if what happened didn't happen to her, just like he looks like a like her wife beater. It was giving like wife beater energy. Like our husband is a fucking psycho. So basically, keep talking about how like he's really having a tough time at work. She doesn't understand him. You know, I'm working really. I work for this family. I for the family. You don't understand me. I'm the bread. Basically, like saying like she, a job is not important. Being a wife is not important because he brings in the money. So he's more important to her. Like. Oh, oh my god, I literally could scream. 
anyway this um, I'm having a tough time at work some guy has a vendetta against me this guy Judah she called Judah Cross I think his name is and she's like oh um it has it out for me blah 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 at that point I think oh this guy is doing something dodgy like people like embezzling money from his company or something like that and then this Judah guy is a forensic, forensic accountant and I was like mm, yeah that's what it that was right the guy is in prison he can't get a bill because when he found out that Cross was trying to, was on to him, he already bought a ticket. I haven't really bought a ticket for him and his assistant to run away and leave his wife in the lurch. Like, she would have just been arrested because they would think that she's part of it. Like, he is such a cunt. I'm sorry for the language, but no other word to say. The guy is like, I think he li obviously likes her, finds her attractive, but obviously can't go there. But it's just, he has a bit of sympathy for her because he feels like, like he knows that she's not part of this. That like, because he just, he knows that her husband is so dodgy that there's no way that like, she's very honest. Where I am now in the book, company are like, oh, they should put some pressure from her because the account has been frozen and she might lose the house. And this guy's in prison, not giving her It's like, oh, don't worry, I've got it. Like, what do you mean you've got this? Like, just don't say anything like, oh, I've got, I've, um, I'm doing everything for us. But obviously, you're not doing this for us because you already had a plane ticket for one to Bali like if you're a good father like why would fuck you leave your kids do you remember know I mean? like I don't know he's just a fucking liar just oh this is my second Kelly the Ryan book that I've read from her and I just know that she's such a research queen because I just realized that even in um before I let you go the, the, like the way she undo the grief thing you can tell she did the research and stuff and in this book obviously there was I think she made a note that she um in the author's note as well that like she can tell she did a lot of research on like autism and things like that like it's quite like, not nice but just nice to like read this and understand like extreme extreme of autism and stuff and judah is divorced sorry is divorced so he has and he has two boys they're twins and they think they both suffer from like autism like extreme autism i think but he has a really good relationship and healthy relationship with his ex-wife like this is a this is the second book I've read now where like the are co parent co parenting they have a nice relationship it's not toxic like there's so many times I've read so many books and they paired with this narrative that when couple are divorced the woman is a psycho and she's like that's why like trying to make the woman look like a bad person so it's quite refreshing to read a second book this week because the last one I read Walking Through Fire Logan also had a good relationship with his ex wife and they kind of co parent in a healthy way and it's the same thing in this book as well so I'm um, it's quite like refreshing to read that not to read like people just like at each other's throats and stuff like that like obviously it's quite nice if you guys can hear that it's my fan it's really warm tonight so i've just got my fan on but i'm really tired it's now 10 o'clock at night and i've also got to bed because i am back to nice five grind but i wanted to get update you guys where i am on this could be us by kenny ryan I managed to read another 100 pages since the last time I spoke to you this afternoon and I'm so loving it. I am not really a big fan of slow burn books but this is done really well because obviously I kind of knew it was going to be a slow burn because I just knew that she wouldn't, after she went through that, what she went through with her husband, son and dad, I don't expect her to just jump into the relationship with Judah and also Judah is basically the guy that got like literally that found out what her husband ex-husband was doing sorry so like obviously i don't know how that's going to work out with this company as well are they going to be okay with with him dating so last time i, I saw you guys about sudden death and her ex-husband is in prison for embezzling money she did she found out well she confirmed she knew that she kind of suspected it was cheating on her but she got it confirmed because he gave an sdi std no sdi std anyway so yeah so that was what happened and then she basically found a clue that confirmed that he actually committed a crime and so she was able to kind of keep uh, the house she's living in and some of the funds that were frozen were unfrozen and stuff like that but obviously now she's a single mom of three her kids are in private school she hasn't worked since she's like for like years because she's a, she's a stay-at-home mom so she has now find a way to kind of take care of our kids like financially i'm thoroughly enjoying this book because i just love synergy again these characters are older characters which i think i've been loving reading about older characters lately i don't know why so i don't know how old synergy is but i, hope, I think she might be in the mid 30s way actually maybe not she might be 40 actually because she says she's been with her husband for 20 years and they met at university so either she's like 
38, like late 30s, early 40s. But I know Judah is 41 because he didn't mention it. Which basically means this weekend I've read two books about older couples. It's so funny because like I didn't even know about this going into this book. And I feel like the book I first read, the Walking Through Fire and This Could Be Us is kind of similar. In a way, because like second times romance kind of vibe. Anyway, so so they're older couples, so they're all like both established. It's quite nice to read about that. And I feel like with older couples, I don't see them going for like instant romance. Especially if you've come from like a broken relationship and stuff like that, you just don't jump right in into something like quite quickly once you're older, I think anyway. And also, I love the fact that Soda Dad is concentrated on like dating herself, like self dating, which I've never heard before. So I'm, I want to read more about that old self dating thing, but it kind of makes sense anyway. And she's doing really well, like thinking of her kids. She's like a hustler. She's like finding ways to kind of take care of her, of, her, of her girls. I just love that for her, and I also love the fact that I see you see a lot of Yasmin and Hendrix in this book as well, which are the are two best friends. Yasmin is from the first book and I'm assuming the next book would be about Hendrix. I would for a book as well because I feel like she is going, a book is going to be so much fun. But yeah, so it's like, it's nice to see those two as well and how supported they are. I just love their little friendship group. Stood by their friend and they're kind of supporting her and her kids like just, you know, being good friends to her. I love that. And also I love Judah. He's a good dad. Talks a lot about his sons like two of his sons as i said they are like both autistic i think one of the twins identical twins i'm assuming one of them aaron this this case is quite severe and the other boy is got autism but it's not as um severe as the other one i don't know a lot about autism so i might be saying this wrong but kind of what i got from the book and that's why he and his ex um wife have a good relationship a very good relationship because the ex have already been married i guess they have bigger things to worry about as to be petty with each other so i think they're quite mature which is one I, another thing i love about them like oh my god this was just a joy to read and i'm so happy that it's a slow burn because i'm like i'm now on like page 170 almost actually maybe 180 so i've got like 120 pages to go and this two i've never even kissed yet but normally I'll be like, I'm going to go over this. But I'm actually, no, I'm actually trying to enjoy it because it makes sense. So I'm probably going to be reading this now. F I'll probably finish this tomorrow. But I'm not going to finish this tonight because I'm about to go to bed. I'm really tired. But I wanted to give you guys an update. And this is the sign of this vlog, really. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's a bit different from what I normally do. It's just like showing you guys. I like it's like a re it's like a weekend reading vlog basically and i hope you guys enjoy this if you made it this far guys you know what to do already guys you know <laughs> um subscribe like comment let me know if you read any of the books i mentioned in this vlog especially this could be us and let me know thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys, have a good week.